Welcome back. Uh, I believe last time we left off, we had 2Q ranking, and then we won a game but did not rank up. So if I do manage to win a game today, I'll probably make it up to 1Q. If I win another game, I don't know what's going to happen. But let's give it a shot anyway. Uh, as usual, we'll be playing a 10-minute game, and let's just do our best. Uh-oh. Good luck. It's... Good luck. There we go. Well, that's interesting already. Hmm. Nope. You know what opening we're going to play now, right? It looks like we're going to play some kind of hybrid Urashino versus Central File Rook thing. Um, yeah. Also, curiously, this knight is not defended. So, let's attack it. Okay, it's still not defended, so let's take it. Yes, it is such a cute avatar. Absolutely. Alright, can I win the bishop? Um, Do I want to win the bishop? I don't know. Let's take this lance. We could definitely use a lance. Um, if I chase this bishop, can I... No, this is not a good idea. My king is not where it wants to be. I have a knight. This is a very unusual circumstance from the outset. Um... I have an idea. In general, knight five five tends to be strong. Here, it just wins. So let's play it. And by that, I mean they have to defend this pawn. Otherwise, I get a promoted piece right in their position. Um, they did not defend this. I was considering dropping the lance to just continue adding fuel to this fire because uh, the lance cuts off their bishop I'm debating do I just take this pawn here if so they advance their silver that's not so pleasant um, hmm I think I could use this lance so yeah we're gonna crush the castle straight in the middle of the board I am attacking their undefended rook. My lance is attacking their undefended pawn. Their bishop is on the edge of the board. I am continuing to attack their rook. Um, oops, I was going to give check with the bishop. That would not be so smart here. Um, I could use another lance. Sure. Just take all the things. Good game. Thanks for the game. Let's play another game. Good luck.
So yeah, lately I've been playing, I don't know what this is called, but um, I've been just advancing the central pawn and guaranteeing that I'll get to play pawn 5-5. Five five. Even if they open this diagonal, I still get to play it if I play this central pawn first. Otherwise, we're looking at something in third file rook territory. Um, that's interesting. Um, do I move my silver now? Yeah, we could use the silver. I've not decided where my rook's going. I know I want to play a ranging rook opening. I just am not sure if opposing rook is even stronger than central foul rook in this very strange, to me, unusual to me, unknown to me setup that's happening here. Perhaps, um, perhaps there's something stronger than what I would normally play. Alright, so I've made it my objective to play pawn 5-5. Five five. I've fulfilled my objective. I want to bring the silver up behind it and the rook behind that, etc. But maybe I want to play opposing rook. But probably I'm playing central foul rook. That's where I'm at mentally here. Um... All right, let's, yep, central foul rook it up. The bishop is defended, everything's defended. I'm threatening to play pawn 5-4 and take the pawn at the knight's head and swing the rook all over the place. Um, I do want to get my king out of dodge before I do anything too crazy. Uh, yeah, let's let's escape while we still can. Yeah, had, had they left their king on its starting square, there's a chance I would have just said, you know what, let's attack. But um, they didn't do that, so we'll take a more reserved stance here. Um, I didn't expect that. That's a bit unexpected to me. Um... Okay, let's get our king to safety. And I guess if they bring the rook over to hit my pawn, I could defend the pawn. And we have a unique situation. I think mostly they're trying to prevent me from advancing this pawn. and Lifting the rook is one way to do that. But the rook is a target now. So at any time I could bring the bishop forward, hit the rook, and bring the silver up to defend this. Uh, um, are there other ways I can defend this position? I'm not sure. Alright, I don't like where their rook is located. Please move the rook. I don't like it there. Thanks for the game. I am so confused. What have I done? What is going on today? Okay, good luck. Honestly, good luck. Please, please, please don't make this a third game in a row where we see something like that. I can only take so much drama in one day. I'm not trying to cause drama, but, like, maybe I am. 
Maybe I'm the common factor here. That seems altogether plausible, actually, now that I think more about it. But, um, still, that's very surprising to me to think of it that way. All right. Um, let's activate our bishop. Now they're attacking our pawn. Um, Sure, let's exchange. Why not? Um, I think I want my rook out of or my king out of here before something bad happens. Uh, so they've now have nothing defending this pawn. Uh, wait, my bishop cannot hit this pawn. I'm hallucinating just a little bit. Maybe I'm still a bit excited from previous games. Um, okay, let's just run. I'm so confused. Where is that going? Okay, let's... Advance to give the king an escape square. Uh, put the king into the half Mino castle. Oh, my opponent is playing my own opening against me. That's what's going on. So this is how you're supposed to play it. Oh. Oh, this makes so much more sense now. Um... Interesting. There might be some nuance here, but yeah. For example, I could pawn drop right on the head of this. And we exchange bishops and my bishop drop, but my bishop gets trapped or something. Or does it? I don't think it gets trapped. It jumps out and then jumps back in and you put your bishop out, you put your bishop in, you put your bishop out and you turn it all about, do the hokey pokey. Yeah, whatever. Um I mean this pawn sacrifice looks reasonable to me. Uh it'd be nice to have the pawn in hand though. Um, yeah, let's activate this. Okay, I did not think we would, did not think we would end up going here. Um, interesting. They make that look as if that were on purpose. I'm not so convinced. Um. Oh, it does block my bishop. So I have been a bit mistaken in the way I play here. Um. Oh, my rook's in a vulnerable spot. Let's get out of the way. Wow. Okay. That's exciting. Okay. 
Uh, sure. Yeah, let's play. I have no idea where we're going. That, that's... Yeah, we're ending up somewhere special. I just couldn't tell you where. Um... Well, this is sad, isn't it? This kind of defense. Um, but I have a silver in hand. And their castle is kind of interesting. Go free. That looks fun. That looks fun. Mm -hmm. To promote or not to promote is the question. Yeah, I think this is best. And then we retreat and promote. I say I promote during the retreating move. Um, I'm not convinced. Like, this is interesting too. No, we do promote. This is strong. So we've cornered the knight. And that night will be working for us very soon. I didn't think they'd actually push this out. I was not intending to chase the knight, but here it is, so okay. I'd even considered like a pawn drop on the knight's head, but like this silver promotion retreat is so strong. Huh. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. They couldn't have pushed the knight out. I miss that, like, by sacrificing the pawn, they could actually get some initiative here. I miss that. Um, still, I think I'm in excellent condition here. Like, 
possibly allowing them to do that night exchange could help me because they've not castled and they have no interest in castling. Okay. I'm confused. Um. I think this gains a tempo later. I don't see a way they can use a tempo here. Even Sanjibio. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we'd be going here. Oh my god. Really? Okay. Yeah, we can play this way. Unfortunately, I have to take that. Fugire, out of pawns. The wind up for the punch that never lands, that it finally lands. Like, oh my god, that lands with such a vengeance.
That's not me. Oh, it's not me, technically. Oh. Good game. Thanks for the game. Yeah, I set that up. I am proud of how I set that up. Um, I am perhaps too proud. If we've looked at all of my games today, uh, I don't deserve to be so proud of what I've done. Um, but it shows that I've learned something, so that much I should be proud of. This particular finish is probably riddled with errors. Um, and I say that not out of any disrespect, but just, uh, like, as a chess player, as a player who's tried to coach quite a few students in chess, um, I've always had an excited student who's just so on cloud nine about the game they just played. And um, it can be hard to face the sobering reality that, okay, yes, you did fine. You can do better. I can do better. It was a good game. Uh, but I think I can do better, and I still need to study more in the future. Oh, sorry, am I out of games? <laughs> okay, no, I've reached the game a little bit. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah. So, 92.3% on 2Q. That is awesome. Yeah, that's exciting. We'll see day by day how much we learn. Thanks for uh, joining us. That was quite a session here.